Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're trying out the new Urban Decay Wired Lip Chemistry Lasting Glassy Tint. Whew, that was a title. All right guys, so there are five shades here. I'm so excited to open these. Ah, These are the boxes here. Then I'll take them out for you guys and we'll do some lip swatches. All right, so let's start with maybe like the lightest shade. I guess that would be the orange probably. All right guys, so this is Whoa, this is cool. Okay, so this is what the product looks like. Look at this. How chic does this look? And this is in the shade Switch. Ooh, this looks like a really pretty, like, pastel neon orange, if that even makes any sense. Ooh. These feel really nice and lightweight on your lips. Oh, you know what? I didn't even tell you guys anything about these yet. Let me read a little bit about them. So they are a glossy tint that reacts to your pH to create a lasting custom color that's unique to you. That is really weird because it's starting to become like a darker orange. Hmm. So it says that the high gloss tint develops after a few minutes, revealing a custom color that, that is based on your pH that lasts up to five hours. The bomb-like vegan formula is hydrating and does not transfer. So all of Urban Decay's products are cruelty free, just in case you guys didn't know, and this is also vegan. I wonder how they get products to work with the chemistry of your body. Is it actual chemistry or is it just like body heat? You know what I mean? But that is really neat because this is definitely a darker orange than it was when I applied it. It seemed more like a pastel when it first went on. And like I said, it does feel just really nice. Like it does feel like a balm, it's super lightweight. And it says that it's not transfer proof. Wow. That's cool, but that's crazy. That doesn't even transfer. I do like these tints though. I say this a lot when I use tints, but it does remind you of like that popsicle stain. I like that. Very summer chic. Okay, so that definitely stained my lips a little bit, which I guess it's supposed to since it's a tint, but let's try this other shade here. So this is Savage. So this is a really pretty hot pink. Whoa. I actually really like this shade. When I first put it on, I thought it was a little crazy. But I do like that. I'm gonna wait a few minutes just to see if it turns a different color. I have a feeling like it's gonna be a little bit darker because I kind of see it heading that way right now. Okay guys, it's been a few minutes. I feel like it almost got even more of a hot pink. Am I just seeing things? I don't know, but I do like it a lot. And it definitely fits this eye look, so. I can picture this color working really well if you just have a really subtle eye. So if you wanna do like a really like toned down makeup look, almost like a no makeup makeup look, but with a really bright lip, this would be the perfect color. Ooh, my lips are stained. Okay guys, so these are my lips after I tried taking it off, so it definitely is a tint does what it says it's gonna do, so that's a good thing. Hopefully you'll still be able to see these other shades on my lips though. Okay, so this next guy is Gravity. So this is like an electric purple. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys, just so that you can see it without that purple backing to it, or the pink backing, sorry. So it definitely just looks like a, like a neon purple on my hand. On my lips, it looks like it's turning a little darker, so it'll probably become more of like a plum shade. I just tried to take that swatch off my hand and it stained my hand. <laughs> All of these lips though are looking great with this eyeshadow look. I mean, it makes sense because I used the wired eyeshadow palette. All right, so it looks like it's gonna stay this shade. I really love this shade. This would be perfect for when you're going on a night out, when you want that really like nice plum lip and you don't want it to transfer. You can drink everything you want. You can drink, you can eat, you can kiss everyone. It's not going anywhere. It's crazy. It's it's so weird that, that it doesn't transfer. I just, it seems like a miracle because it's gloss. So it just doesn't, it's like not making sense to me, but that's really cool. All right, let's try taking this off. But you see what I mean? This would be perfect for an event, that way you don't have to touch up in between. Probably should have thought this through though before doing a swatch video. I feel like you guys aren't even gonna be able to see this next one though. 
All right, so I'm not even gonna worry about the staining that it's gonna put on my hands. I'm just gonna swatch this on my hand because you're not even gonna be able to see the red over top of this. I try anyway. No, it'll just look like a dark red. So I feel like it's not going to be true to color for you guys to be able to tell. So I'm gonna do it right here. So again, the shade is wire and I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and see if this turns a dark color because right now it's like a pretty bright red. I would say it's a little on the pinky side for a red. It's not really showing that on camera, but it's like a, like just like a slight pink. Like it's very, it's a very blue based red, I would say, which is great because those shades make your teeth look super white. All right guys, so this is it dried down a little bit more. So yeah, so it looks like it turned more of a darker red and it does have a little bit of a pink hue to it. It's very, very slight. I feel like not many people would see the pink in there, but it is, I'll just stick with my blue based red because I feel like more people would understand that. I'm using so many hand gestures right now. All right, and last but not least, this is X-Ray. I'm really excited to see how this looks. This is like a gray. Yeah, so it's almost like a gray purple. It's like a gray purpley brown. Hmm. I figure I could swatch this one on my lips because it's dark enough. Okay, so this is fully applied. This is another great one for like a night out. Like if you're going to get dressed up and you're going to a party. Okay, hear me out. This might be a little crazy and I guess it depends on the person. I mean, I feel like this would be out of your comfort zone for most people, but it really is just like, I don't know. I feel like it can look really, really chic. I feel like with a nice like bronze smoky eye with this, or you can just do a completely minimal look. I feel like all of these would look really good with like a no makeup makeup look and just have a bold lip. That always just looks really like effortlessly chic, but I can picture this with like a really either goldeny or coppery eye. Hmm. So if you look on my hand here with it dried down a little bit, it does almost look like a dark cherry. And I was thinking that it was just mixing in with the other colors that I had on my lips, but it does look like a dark cherry on my hand once it dried down. So you can expect that. And dark cherry is a very classy shade. So that's why I said it would be great for a night out or if you do have a special event, maybe not a wedding, just depending on the wedding, I guess. The only thing that I will say about these lips is that when you're applying these, make sure that you're being extremely careful since they are a tint. If you like overline it a little bit or like mess it up, you have to correct it right away or else you're stained in that shape. Um, so yeah, that's just a little something to think about, but I do really like these a lot. And as of right now, they're $11 on the Urban Decay website. So if you guys like any of these shades, definitely head over there and purchase them because this is the time to do it. All right guys, this is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you gonna be purchasing any of these? What was your favorite lip color? Also, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos on the Urban Decay collections, I'll have them linked in the comments down below. Everything on my face right now is all Urban Decay. I broke this up into five different different videos. So if you guys were interested in the eyeshadow palette, the eyeliner, the liner that I use in my waterline, those are all gonna be down in the description. Oh, also real quick guys, the next video that I'm gonna be filming is on um, the Moon Dust, the Urban Decay Moon Dust. Depending on when you guys are watching this, it might already be up. If not, it'll be up tomorrow. I'll include the link in the description down below if it is already posted. But I love you guys. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. That really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I love you and I'll see you on the next one. I always get so theatrical at the end. I'm like, okay, bye. I feel like I'm just like a little delusional at this point. Six videos in a row. Fucking on top of the world.